Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here. Now, Princess Peach Showtime. You know, if you've seen our review, you'll know that we love it. PJ loved it, I loved it. But there's uh, a little bit of, um, should we say, discrepancy when it comes to people's feelings about the demo. And, you know, certain people didn't enjoy it as much as, say, I did. So what's flipping going on? Well, to help try and answer that uh, sort of slightly long-winded question, I'm joined by the wonderful Zeon. Hey, it's showtime. We're here to talk about Princess <laughs> Peach. Finally. It is indeed showtime. Yes. So I really enjoyed Princess Peach. I can understand people's reservations about it because at the end of the day, it is a very easy game and the aesthetics are definitely leaning more towards the childish angle. Um, I, I don't mm. think that's unfair to say, do you? No, I mean, I, I, for the record, I have not played the demo yet, and I haven't played the full ah. game either, um, at all. Um, but I think it's that I'm a little bit more excited to to ask you about it because I, my feelings haven't been like stifled or, or muffled by you know anything about this game. I think the transformations look really fun. It looks like a very varied game, um, and I'm I'm glad that you guys like gave it a, a good review. Um, so I, but I do have lots of questions that. Yeah, there are a lot of things that have me curious still. Um, well, fire away, Sarah. So Alex, specifically, as somebody who like likes a bit more of a challenge in a game, um, I know you said in the like in the, the end of the review that you like basically it felt like you couldn't like put the controller down. I was curious, was there anything really that like challenged you throughout this game or was it like it, what's the difficulty like uh, throughout from what you've played? Well, overall, the difficulty is low. There is no uh, there's no denying that the difficulty is low. However, there are these little like bonus challenges um, where mm. you do, you know, they're very simple tasks, but you will have to do these tasks and they're simple on the surface, but the actual challenge is quite high. So one of them that uh, immediately springs to mind is um, you play as Swordfighter Peach and there's just a load of enemies and the screen's so slowly scrolling and you've got all these enemies coming towards you and you've got to, you know, sort of riposte and hack away at them. Riposte and hack being mm. basically antonyms, I know. Um, but you've got to <laughs> defeat all these enemies and they're coming at you. You've got to defeat as many as you can. And if you get hit literally once, that's it. Your score is finalized and you've got to start again, w which you'd sort of think, oh, is it kill like 20 enemies? I think off the top of my head, I'm going to correct myself on uh, with text if this isn't the case, but I think it's 160 enemies in order to actually get the primary reward. I can't remember what that reward is, annoyingly. Um, this would be even better if I had uh, better preparation, but I don't even have my Switch in front of me, so I can't check. But the fact is, is that I've not been able to do this. I've not been able to get the wow, gold okay. reward on these things which mm -hmm. I think is actually kind of cool in a way. And um, there's the, another one that I've done is um, you play as uh, like a dash, dashing, dashing thief peach, I think she's called or something like that. And <laughs> okay. um, yeah, basically. Uh, and you've got to do this like gliding section. And again, one hit and you are, you are toast. You're out of there. And you have to collect a lot of, the, you know, sort of the generic pickups. And, you know, genuinely, it is it is really tough. It's really good fun. You would almost, you'd almost overlook them. They're called rehearsals, and you just have to talk okay. to a random feat uh, on each floor. Like, each floor has one. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, but it's, it's really good. It's nice to have that little bit of challenge in there. Admittedly, there isn't a lot of these, but it's still nice that they're there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, this sounds like... In comparison to something like Detective Pikachu, where th those games are, it feels like they're designed for kids. Um, I, I didn't really find any, you know, kind of extra challenges that, um, you know, kept me interested, I suppose, or even, yeah, or challenged me when I played the first one or or the, the half that I did of, of the of the second one. Um, so I'm glad that there that there's there's something there for uh, for the the. The, the the kids that you know are need a bit more challenge or even just yeah or for us us adults that that still play video games which there's there's a lot of us there's a lot of us there's something for the young child to go mom or dad can you do this oh, for me yeah. um and it's yeah, <laughs> even more fun when they go okay fine and they can't do it first time that's gonna be great for them it's gonna you know that's gonna be fun i think 
Are the controls complicated either? Like, does it only use a couple <laughs> buttons? Uh, no, the controls are dead simple in terms of input. I'll, I'll list everything for you because it really is that basic. Uh, the left wow. analog stick moves. The ZL and ZR buttons do a pose. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and this depends on how you got the control set up, but for me, B is jump, A is um, using your ability, whatever it is, depending on your uh, your transformation, or whether you're just mm. Peach in her standard get up. Um, and uh, the the plus button is pause. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, that, that's those it. poses, are those just for fun? Uh, I mean, you can use them for fun in the same way you can jump for fun, but there are like specific sections in the world where there's like a, a spotlight. It's not always immediately obvious, but there might be like a manhole or something like that. And you stand on there mm. and the spotlight will then will shine on Peach and all the other lighting will dim. And you do a pose then and the game, this sort of like, almost like, well, rising floor picks you up, takes you away, and then you got a little bonus challenge underneath, a little bit like a, essentially just like a warp pipe um, in Mario. So speaking of warping to, uh, spe speaking of comparing to Mario warp pipes, are there any, you, you made like a little tease about things that might like make like longtime Mario fans excited. Are there like, little easter eggs or like is there anything in particular without maybe spoiling it that you know uh surprised you or i guess uh, just you know made you put a smile on your face well, something that you weren't <laughs> expecting i don't want to give too much away because the joy of the game really is in first-hand experience um and i mean you could make the argument for all games to be honest but regardless one I'll, I'll give you one i'll give you one so um in the uh, in the we're going back to the dashing thief peach stuff so um in those levels there are often these um pipes that you can just slide down you know they're just like essentially guttering but they are essentially thin little warp pipes they are the same green they have the same little rim at the top it's a sort ah, of uh -huh. you know if you weren't familiar you'd never think twice but if you know it you'll see it and you'll go oh it's a it's a warp pipe ah, you know um but yeah. to be honest for me more than anything what was even more fun was all of the theatrical stuff because um you know i i did drama growing up which I'm sure will surprise absolutely no one. Uh, I'm just that type, I think. Um, but th there's like, everything is so sort of tuned in to the idea of theatre. And there's this brilliant one. Oh, oh I'll just give, I'll just, I'll just tell you this one. So at one point you play as, um, um, I, I can't remember the term, I think it's Hero Peach. Um, she looks like Mega Man. It's great. Um, oh, yeah, And cool. uh, at one point like the scientists and everyone are like compiling all their their special abilities all their technology to make peach massive mm. and nothing actually happens to peach the camera just moves down and in slides all these like like little cardboard cutouts of buildings to make her look big but she's uh, just stayed uh -huh. the same it's just little details like that it's so it's so charming i mean it's so good feel as well like that is the kind of thing uh, that's the uh, developer by the way for anyone who's curious rather than just thinking oh awesome that's good feel man um it's um yeah it, it's that's the sort of thing that they excel at and they've really come through here with that sort of thing. And I'm I'm blanking beyond like Yoshi's Woolly World that they developed. Do you remember what other stuff Goodfield worked on? Ah, uh, they did Crafted World. Um, they also did um, Kirby's Epic Yarn. Those are the big ones. Oh, okay. I'm, nothing cool. else is immediately leaping to mind, but that that's enough, I think. Sure. Do you do you remember by chance how long uh, or like how long levels are or how many levels there are for each like character type? Like how long are you going to be playing as each? character class or character type as do you do you reckon uh well each peach sorry i just wanted to say that um, you know, um <laughs> yeah, that's good <laughs> there are three acts for each um for, for each transformation so you have okay. um you'll have the first one that you do then you'll have the second one and those are all on the uh, standard floors and then the third one takes place in the basement and is related oh, to the like the original feet which is the like uh, the the sort of toad-esque style characters that are running around um that was actually representing 
that particular character. So like the original, almost like the original actor. And they haven't appeared and Peach has to take on the role, you know. It's almost like Peach is the the suffering understudy, to be honest. Um, yeah. And uh, so then that final one is related to that. You will then free them and everyone's happy. And do those kind of act like boss battles too? They do, yeah, yeah. You'll, um, I mean, you you won't be fighting against them, at least not in the ones that I've done, because I haven't completed mm -hmm. the game yet. I've had things on my mind, uh, like a wedding. But um, the, <laughs> um, uh, the, the, the... You're marrying Princess Peach? <laughs> You're Bowser? <laughs> Alex! <laughs> um, <laughs> the basement levels, yeah. So you, the ones that I played, you, you fight kind of alongside them or you're rescuing them, but you're usually fighting something that is kind of like the embodiment of that style. So al almost like a sort of a, a dark mirror version, but it's not just like Shadow Peach, you know, or anything like that. I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do with the uh, ice, uh, 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 ice skating Peach or ice figure skating Peach, because that's, mm -hmm. um, it's going to be interesting to see what they do with that. They already had one good boss with the first level um, that I really liked. It was just like a guy who was good at ice skating, but looked a bit, a little bit Balan, I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, <laughs> which I've seen people compare this game to. I mean, Balan had some great character designs. I think that was looking back. That was one of my favorite. It elements, also had right? some like, terrible so... character designs. <laughs> yeah, ba Balan himself was great. Uh, let's not talk too much about Balan Wonderworld, but yeah, Balan. I mean, Balan Wonderworld is an example of a, a, a game where you cannot get by on the character's design alone, unlike Sonic the Hedgehog. But which you know, is also a stage play sort of thing. I forget about that as well. That's yeah, a, yeah, maybe that's, yeah. Maybe that's more of a comparison for another day. Um, yeah, but, let's uh, not get too much <laughs> into it. <laughs> sure, sure. Um, I did want to ask uh, how if you had knew how many transformations roughly there were as well, um, and what your favorite transformation was so far. Oh well, um, I'm not going to give the number here just because I don't want to spoil too much. Um, but let me just say that Nintendo is Nintendo's basically revealed them all anyway. So if you've okay. been following, you know, sort of on social media, you're not going to get any major surprises on that front. Um, in terms of my favorite, oh, I really like Kung Fu Peach. Uh, it comes up surprisingly yeah. late in the game, all things considered. And um, you, you can like, whenever you defeat an enemy, you, you'll, ki you'll kick seven shades out of them and then they'll fly back and if you angle it correctly they'll fly back and they'll take out a load of other enemies as well very satisfying to say the least uh, ninja peach is obviously great as well the action based ones definitely some of my favorite but at the same time um yeah uh, ice skating figure skating peach um there's just something that it's it's a very minor thing with that um that transformation but I, I, if anyone's seen ice skating before I, I don't know how to describe it, but where you sort of like almost skate sideways when you need to turn or slow down. D uh -huh. Do you know what I mean? Where like you're not yeah, skating so. forward, but you're sort of, you do this sort of fancy footwork thing and. You cross your legs a little bit, maybe. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That's the thing. Uh -huh. And I never would have expected them to include that. And it doesn't come up very often, but if you do like a sharp turn to try and turn around, she'll do that. She will do the, the actual movement that is required, which. It's wow, just okay. wonderful, and the animation on uh, that transformation is some of the best in the game. It really is just, it's honest, it sounds silly, it's really beautiful, it's very elegant, and, you know, sort of, if I was, you know, a seven-year-old girl, I'd want to become um, an ice skater because of that. That'd be really cool if at some, like, convention coming up, we get a, a cosplay event where everyone just cosplays as all the different versions of uh, of, of Peach oh, from Showtime. That would be really cool, yeah. That's actually yeah, a good point. Yeah. It's really opened up cosplay for people, um, which is something I haven't considered because I don't think about cosplay that often. But um, sure, yeah, sure. you know. And all these enemies are new too, right? Like from, I mean, maybe maybe that's a spoiler to say, you know, about certain ones, but but the main cast of enemies, they're all these these fruits. Is that right? Are uh, the Sour Bunch. Um, oh, they're not right. really fruits. <laughs> they're just named after them. Um, okay. Like uh, you've got Madame Grape. She's, she's the antagonist. Ah. I think it's just playing off Peach. You know, and also, you know, sour grapes, you know, didn't, oh get, gosh, the, didn't get the part or something, you know, I don't know. Um, as I say, yeah, I haven't completed that's it. That's funny. Yeah, but um, no, the, the main enemies are called, uh, just called the Sour Bunch. 
and okay. they're, they're largely generic enemies, but they serve a purpose, and they're always dressed up, you know, sort of depending on the play you're playing, which is, again, a really nice touch, and they're really sort of leaning into it. The whole sort of, like, theatre aspect is lent into almost to a at sometimes a comical degree. It's it's weird because before it launched, I wasn't like, you know, jumping out of my seat to go pick this up. Uh, but uh, but I so recently I was playing Shinobi on PlayStation 2 and that game is so difficult. It, it crushed me into the ground as a kid. I never made it much further than like the first or the second world. Um, so I on my my recent vacation, I went and played some Spyro for PS1 just because I was like this game. I, I know it well enough. I've never finished it, but it's really it's easy enough and it's it's comfy enough, you know, to just go and relax. And I feel like from what you've said about this so far, it looks like a, a similar game, you know, I mean, for kids, but also for adults to just like kind of not cut loose but like not stress when playing a game and still see like all these these cool new worlds and and see the the direction they take the stages in um do you think is that one of the the better parts of the game is just seeing the overall like presentation and kind of following in in peach's footsteps to be honest that's mostly the game just full stop it yeah. is okay yeah, <laughs> it, it really is first and foremost a kind of you know a relaxing audio visual experience it's absolutely interactive it's not like you know oh it's a film and just plays itself or anything like that you do have to do interactions you do have to play the game but it is definitely it's almost like you're just sort of guiding peach into situations and yeah mm -hmm. you're you're still in control 100 percent. you know it's not like the game plays itself or anything like that but it's simple enough that you can just relax and enjoy what's happening it's um, yeah. it's the kind of game where I think you would almost get as much out of it being in the same room as someone else playing it as you would from playing oh, it yourself. Wow. I, I bet there's a, a, a chunk of gamers out there that feel like it's really hard to watch other people play, but I like, that's cool that you think that it would be just fine for for anyone to do that especially with like the low difficulty ceiling because i suppose that that's a really frustrating thing is to like watch someone else play and not not do the thing you would have done or whatever yeah. but um but if we're all doing the same thing anyways then it's fine <laughs> well i i can only imagine that there will be a few instances where it's even more frustrating because you know the game is so easy and maybe the person playing isn't doing that well and it's like you know you just you you just you just do oh. this, you, just, you know. Um, but yeah, at the yeah. same time, that's, you know, that's unfair to critique the game that way, I feel. Yeah, I, I think that pretty much wraps up most of the questions I have, except for uh, in the review, performance was mentioned. So I'm kind of curious mm, how yeah. that uh, shakes out. Well, PJ wasn't too bothered by the performance. And to be honest, nor am I. I'm, you know, going to go out there and not say it ruins the game for me or anything like that. But... I am mm -hmm. very sensitive to performance issues, you know, doing the work that I do. Um, so the frame drops to me were quite noticeable and re semi-frequent, I would say. It never, like, spoiled it or anything like that, but you, you, you do kind of expect a little bit better from Nintendo, to be brutally honest. And um, especially also the resolution isn't super high. In the review, I mentioned that this is due to, um, you know, possibly due to like the lighting engine that they're using. And I, I still stand oh, by yeah. that. I, I don't know 100%. But if you sort of, if you watch the footage and you think like of the lighting that we tend to get in Switch games, it, you might sort of go, oh, oh yeah, no. And you know, but the thing is the lighting is so good and so sort of consistent you kind of forget it's there, which is a real shame in a way, but at the same time, that, that means that they've really done it right, you know? I really hope that a lot of this, the, the Switch performance issues that we've been having over the past few years, and I mean, even since, you know, the Switch came out, it's had issues here and there with certain games, but I really hope that if, whenever the Switch successor comes around, whatever that is, I really hope that some of these, like, you know, first party Nintendo games get some some free updates just to just to run a bit smoother and be their be their best. Because I, I totally see what you mean after after you brought it up about the lighting that this game really there are places where it really shines. And I'm, I'm surprised by how detailed some of the <laughs> that was that was an accident. Um, <laughs> I'm surprised by how detailed some of the uh, like the close up shots of Peach and some of the uh, the enemies can be at times, too. Oh, yeah, you it's um, if you know what you're looking for, you can tell that there are definitely two different models of Peach, 
one for the um, oh. the in, one for the in-game cutscenes, and one for the gameplay. And sometimes mm. you'll get the gameplay one in a just like a brief dialogue scene. But like whenever you do the transformation animation, that's as far as I know, that's not a video that is actually in engine. And the quality on that model for the Switch is frankly astonishing. And that's yeah. why I think you drop frames there because it is just, you know, the, the movements are very smooth. Nothing, you know, sort of, it's, it's nothing like the ice skating or anything like that, but the very smooth uh, movements and very, very high quality model. I don't know for a fact that it's not video, to be brutally honest with you. It could just be very well compressed because there's no immediate artifacting to me. But compared to the intro oh, cutscene, sure. the detail's actually lower than that, which suggests to me it's in engine. It's just very, very good. Well, I'm really glad that you walked away from this so far with such like a positive experience, because I think for a lot of people, I think this was probably one of the most worrying um, games I supposed to come out this year. I mean, people are going to be worried about uh, Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door because they care a lot about it. But this was like the first kind of big new game from Nintendo this year. And and like you and PJ both have said before, like we haven't seen anything solo Princess Peach since the, the the DS with Super Princess Peach and that wasn't mm. handled you know as as uh, carefully as people would have would have liked you know so it it seems like Peach is uh, represented uh, in a in a in a positive light here <laughs> to use light once again yeah, well yeah I, yeah I'd I'd agree I think it's um it, it's it's kind of in my mind the best they could have done with Peach it's you know sort of it is leaning into the without wishing to get too heavy into stereotypes into that sort of girly side of her and the sort of the princess aspect mm -hmm. and magical kingdom kind of thing but at the same time it's not going too far in the opposite direction which i kind of felt they did in the film a little bit they think they just yeah. about got away with it but it was a little bit for lack of a better term uh kind of mary sue-esque um, which I know is a very old-fashioned term and is probably inaccurate, but it's the first thing that came to mind. She feels like a real person. She really feels like the real Princess Peach here, you know? And that's... Yeah. But still sort of like evolving her character. She's not a damsel in distress, but at the same time, she's, you know, she's working hard to make, you know, all these things happen. And she's having to go on this adventure. She's not just breezing through it, despite the difficulty being very low. But I'm talking about sort of like within context of the game. Um, sure, yeah, sure. I, I really don't know how, how they could have done it better, to be brutally honest. She, you know, she's strong, fierce, elegant, kicks ass. It's, it's brilliant. It makes me want to be a princess. Yeah. And I, I forget as well that like all of these roles that she plays too, like genuinely anybody could be uh, a detective, a, a sword fighter. I, don't, I mean, I don't know who's going to be a sword fighter in the modern age, but uh, but you know, a figure <laughs> well, skater, you never a chef, know. <laughs> like whatever. That's true. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Who knows um, what 2025 but... will bring? Oh, no. <laughs> well, for now, thankfully, we only have to be concerned with 2024 and it's uh, it's uh, it's looking it's looking pretty good. So far, so far. Let's hope Nintendo have released yeah. a few more games, perhaps. But they've they've got a banger here, so you can't argue with that. Good, good. Well, thanks, thanks for shedding some uh, light on this game once again, too, because it's yeah, I, I I enjoyed what I what I heard in the review um, and the, all the gameplay that I saw. Kind of really, it, it changed my perspective. But this this absolutely sealed the deal that I. This game is for me as well. <laughs> I should really go pick this up. So, and I, I hope a bunch of other people feel that they got the answer they were looking for too. Yeah, it is a delight. Um, you have to go in it into the game with certain expectations. Um, you know, it, it's similar to something like Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Although, admittedly, Kirby in the Forgotten Land, you do end up like d trying to defeat God again, like all Kirby games. <laughs> Uh -huh. um, with, like, the bonus content. But, you know, Princess Peach Showtime isn't going that far, but it is just... It's a treat to play. It's just really nice, cosy, fun. T it's its just really good fun. I've said fun so many bloody times when talking about this game, but it really is. That's, like, that yeah. that's what encompasses it. It's good, honest fun. I think that's a good... I can't, I can't say anything better. That, uh, <laughs> that rounds it out. 
<laughs> well, there you have it. I hope I've been marginally convincing or gave you the answer you were looking for. Let us know if that is the case, or indeed if it isn't, with a comment down below and let us know what you think of Princess Peach Showtime, if you've played it or not whatever we just like comments because it's good for the algorithm in it <laughs> anyway uh, thank you so much for watching if you like this video then why don't you uh use the power of sparkle on that subscribe button <laughs> it's the best i can do uh and be sure to check out nintendolive.com for all sorts of lovely nintendo related content thank you again for watching bye bye comments are fun to read when they're nice or constructively nice you know kind of like a good parent <laughs> constructively nice Which is what you need in order to gate, 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 in order to g